morning welcome back to cj's old time farm i just wanted to show you like the garden and the yard and stuff before everything really starts to get going around here our, i have not been able to produce enough compost to just use mine so in the spring i go to our town facility and i get uh, the compost that they make there and so i'll be doing that soon and the uh, this weekend and so the landscape around here is going to really start changing quickly and especially as it warms up um, we're starting to have warmer nighttime temperatures it's really windy here so i hope you guys can hear me okay but um the wind is also helping to dry things up which makes it closer to the time to plant things too so i'll just give you a quick little look around like the garden and tell you a little bit about my plans for a new bed and then in a few weeks when I show you again you'll be able to see the difference <laughs> okay so to start with as you might recall I'll be cleaning up all of the outside area around that greenhouse and putting foam insulation around the bottom and then removing a bunch of hostas and stuff to make that look nice and it will be warmer still next year and in front of well in back of that really if you're thinking about from the street um, I'm starting another bed uh, garden bed right there where you see all of that goat poop and bedding piled up I'll be turning that and then I'll also lay the, some of the town compost on top and as everything breaks down it will feed my plants over the summer and that's where I plan to plant uh, melons and a few other vining crops and some of my sweet potatoes. And then over here, of course, we have our goats. And Pixie is getting pretty big there and fern is starting to pop a little. So I cannot wait for baby goats. I'm pretty sure they're pregnant. <laughs> They've been in with butters all winter long and I'm quite sure that he's probably gotten the job done. <clears throat> um... And you'll notice that they're Nubians and he is a little Nigerian dwarf. I want to start a breeding program here for um, many Nubians. There's not a lot of people around here that sell them. And I personally, I couldn't afford the prices that they were charging for them. So I decided to go this route. And anyway, so over here, you will see the garden. And it doesn't look like much of a garden right now because it's a lot of piles of bedding and composting in place. Uh, but in a few weeks time, probably more like a month, uh, by the time I get everything cleaned up and uh, get some spring plants planted in there, it's gonna look a whole lot different and a whole lot better. <laughs> but it is what it is. This is what I do in the winter and it helps to feed my my garden and the soil and i build up the soil around here that way that's, that's a really um, sustainable and it's just it's a good way to go really it and you don't have to have chemical fertilizer and things and then i have pollen a lot of pollinators around here and beneficials and as the years have gone by here and I have not used chemicals here in wow I don't know probably eight nine years and I've had a population of birds and insects and frogs and dragonflies and so many things hatch around here and they just help keep all the plants and my yard healthy and in turn, all of those things make me healthy, so that's a good thing. And pretty soon, the ducks will be moving back down to their summer house. Now in the fall, I had a problem with the little turkeys going out on the road, so I may end up until I can afford to get all, see that pretty fence there? Eventually, I want to put that around my whole garden, and they would just be in there. But, uh... For now, I'll have to use this big old mess of chicken wire because it's 
cheap and it'll keep them a lot away from the road. But first I'm going to try to let them run around and see what they do. But anyway, they're going to be really happy to get back down here. I'll set their pool up. It's a, one of those big kiddie pools that has like a slide so it's nice and deep. They really love it. And pretty soon hopefully there'll be little baby goats running around too. Pixie is due, I believe, May 14th, 15th, and Fern about a month later, so we'll see. I am rebrewing tea for my kombucha, and look at all of those scobies. I'm actually going to cut a few of them up and put them in the dehydrator, and then I'm going to grind them up and use them as a probios for my goats. Okay guys, so here I have my dehydrated SCOBY and it's not quite as crispy as I had hoped it would be. I dehydrated it a really long time, so I don't know how it's going to grind up. If it doesn't grind up, I'll just have to cut it up into little bits and mix it into their feed, but um, we'll see how it goes. work out so hot let me get a pair of scissors and it might be that I gotta use the other blade too let's see I'll pause this for a minute okay so I've got them all cut up into here it's amazing how little is left after you dehydrate those two big scobies I have. And it's working. How cool is that? So there you have it. I have some ProBios powder. I mean, you know, homemade with, <coughs> ooh, that's a vinegary smell, um, with kombucha scobies. And what I'll do is I'll keep this for after they birth the, um, their kids, the two go, the two, the, 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 the two does, and uh, I'll mix it up with some feed, or maybe even mix it up in the molasses water, and uh, that'll help them boost their rumen and their immune immunities and stuff while they're recovering from birth. I'm pretty excited about this. This is cool. Something new to do with those scobies. I had my daughter, when my granddaughter, and I think when my two younger grandsons too were, were little, I had my daughters save these Gerber little square baby food containers for stuff like this because they're really just the perfect size. Okay, well, that's it for today, and I just wanted to thank you for stopping by my channel and getting an update. It's April, and spring is here, and I know we're all excited about that, and we can't wait to get our summer and spring plans going. For me, this is a really exciting time of the year. I love all the new beginnings and all the hope that it brings for the coming season. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to be opening my farm stand out at the end of the driveway, and I don't have a lot to put out there yet, but yeah, it's a it's a beginning. So, I hope you all have a very 
nice day and until I talk to you again, God bless.